I'm uh, Phoebe Kugel, the editor-in-chief of Brush Hire, a student publication here at UNR, and we publish literature and art from students and local creatives around Reno. And what do we have going on here tonight? <laughs> yeah, this is our second monthly poetry night. Um, I'm pretty excited about our turnout. And what we do here is we invite uh, like local creatives around Reno and you and our artists to come and share their poetry. It doesn't have to be spoken word or whatnot. It's just kind of whatever they write and feel like sharing with us. But I think it provides like a unique area for like storytelling and people sharing their own personal narratives. To whom it may concern, I'm unconcerned with your discernment of me and the negative energy you're trying to feed me, trying to prevent me from being free. My name is Tyrell, but I go by the realest reason. My aunt is the one that got me into poetry at a young age. I've been doing poetry, performing poetry since I was about 15. People telling me what they expect of me and mm -hmm. me not necessarily agreeing with that. So just knowing that I'm going to be able to make it to where it is that I want to be. And uh, just really just to inspire people. Like, yeah. That's what I'm here for. So. I wish I could scream at my adolescent self. Scream, whoa, slow down and yank the reins right out of my own hands and into the steering wheel. Of someone who can live in the moment and not the future. And they look back and realize then and only then just how golden it all was. Sometimes I miss my real country. And by real, I mean the place where all my desires are and so my suffering. In there, everything is made by human hands, by suffering, rock over rock. And I'm not saying that is beautiful, but life is suffering sometimes and life is beautiful. They pushed him, harassed him, lost him. His heart so big got crushed up and they smoked it. Like they were just chilling. They were the real villains. They didn't know what they did to him. They said they never touched him, but their fingerprints were found all over his mind. They left a hole in him where his golden heart should have been. My name is Linda Weathers. And then you also shared some poetry tonight. So how did you like get into that exactly? So I got into poetry when I was in eighth grade. I heard a poem called White Privilege. And that was the best poem, most tone driven. Just, it was just the best thing that I have ever witnessed. And so I was like, I wanna do that. I'm homeless, parentless, and depressed. I'm the white sheep who had the guts to live. Tired of being restrained for greatness. Wanting to more than homeless. Wanting to live up to the expectations of the ones who raised me. So I climb. I climb this hill with every ounce of my dignity. With two miles to go, my strides get bigger. I pick up my pace and then I stumble and I fall. With a broken spirit in hand, I look up to the ones who raised me. I imagine her smiling, her telling me to turn my chances into opportunities. I wipe my tears from my face and I run, and I run. And at the top of this hill, I dance. And at the top of this hill, I spin in circles. And at the top of this hill, I laugh. And at the top of this hill, I scream, I made it. Uh, how did you know about this event tonight? And I saw that you were hosting it. So how did you get involved in that? So I got involved because it was originally our plan to host a poetry event for people to speak their truth yeah. last Tuesday, but unfortunately we got slowed in. And mm -hmm. so we were like, hey, Brush Fire, can, we, can the Department of Wellness, can we collab with you? And they were like, yeah. So we brought our happiness, our trueness, our fan group to them, so yeah.